Welcome back to Funny Gaming. Hey, Gerald, tell uh -huh. a joke. Okay, uh, did you know that, uh, bird furries are called featheries? Boo! Here's a, here's a joke, here's a joke. I got a better joke. Uh, what's brown and rhymes with Snoop? Snoop. Dr. Dre. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, what game are we playing? Psychonauts. Also, Zack isn't here because he's busy slaughtering the Vietnamese. Yeah, he, uh... So, you know, he's got this mental condition where he's unable to recognize that the war's been over for a very long time. Yeah, he has, um... Yeah, he he has... he's He has dementia and some form of psychosis. Uh, he sent me a video of himself, uh in like bum clothing that like baggy clothing like uh e like uh looking at the camera with this evil look just pure evil it's like charles manting you could see the evil in his eyes and he was just drinking sewage and then he texted me back and he said do you know how crazy i am motherfucker do you know the things i've done what's this game about jeremy it's about uh i don't know where it's, it's about Human psychic. Mind. It's about psychic platforming. Oh fuck, I know. Skipping the cutscenes, cause fuck you. You know, it just occurred to me. Imagine like a video game, uh, made by like a uh, where the cutscenes were stop motion. Oh, dude. Uh, there are games where like the graphics are stop motion. Have you heard of Clay Fighter? No. It's like a it's like a fighting game where all the graphics are stop motion. Whoa. Okay, I can move the Again. camera. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a oh my god, he's voiced by Richard Horvitz. Oh, uh, you're gonna have to tell me who that is. He voices fucking uh -huh. Invader Zim. Uh -huh. And Moxie, oh a hell of a boss. And that, uh... I forget, in, in Chaos from Skylanders, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I have to do that before... Can I skip the cutscene? Oh my god, I actually hear his voice. He really is. He really is. He... Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't want to say it, but uh, uh, he sounds like a a Zim, a, a Zim who like got his uh testicles pulled or something. I'm not supposed to say. Okay. You don't want to be late for basic braining. Basic braining is the best course ever. Hey, basic braining. I'll give you some basic braining. In the ass! Oh my god. I, I, Derby, I, I don't, I don't, wait, hold on, you want me to suck your ass? What? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for, listen, take mine. Look at this stupid child. I love, I, big-headed child. I want to kick that child so hard. Five arrowheads for this week's protection service. This is like a mix of. This is like a mix of. Nightmare Before Christmas and Fanboy and Chum Chum. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that's doesn't like he the just. Best doesn't he look like a Fanboy and Chum Chum character? I'm the strong man. Uh, okay, yeah, he's got. He's, bro, he's got the. Uh, got the neck look. Body? Bro, bro, just kill this guy. Just hold his, just hold his neck really hard. You can't do anything. <laughs> you could just, you could just like you, you could just do what you do with like Play-Doh and like roll it into like a thin thing and piss and, and and twist it with your hands, and he would die. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what the fuck? Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that the tech. I don't. I don't, uh, I don't like how he's gonna. Be. I don't like how he has. I don't like how he said bait. He's gonna give basic braining to the coach. Oh my god! He has oh, he a door on his head. Oh my god! Imagine if we had doors on our heads. What would? What do you think? What would, what would I see if I went into your brain? Uh, you would see lots of furry porn. Uh, yeah, I should have predicted that. What do you think you would see if you went into my brain? I would see... Uh, 
mental dentist office. Transformers porn. It's a recruiting office. <laughs> why, why specifically I'm porn? Press X. All right, Prex X. Oh my God, that up. child exploded! What kind of oh my God! Is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. Oh, he's not he's dead. dead. Damn it! Oh. I thought we were playing a, a children's platforming ass. game where a child explodes and, and dies. And right I wish. Uh, imagine. I, so, rather, I'm speaking of children's stuff. I've been watching Kid Cosmic, right? Yeah. Bro, I'm actually I'm actually surprised that I'm actually surprised that there's actual death in this show. Like there's this one gag a... where, this, where this alien comes in and because it's not because he's on Earth's atmosphere, he just fucking chokes to death. And they, and they fucking bury his giant body. Oh my god. They have to cut, uh, there's even a gag where they had with one of the what, there's this character who has the ability to clone himself. There's this bag where one of the clones had to use a chainsaw to put his body up and bury it. God. I, I shit you not, that's an actual joke in this show. What the fuck? Can I skip the cutscene? Oh, I'll suck it up, alright. Your first figment. Collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you will earn new psychic abilities. Neat. By the way, this is a blind playthrough. I've never played this game. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I mean, I played a little bit of it, but I didn't get far, and I kind of forgot everything. Bro, remember Sophia the First? What the fuck? Why are you bringing up Sophia the First? I don't know. I just got a fucking random thought about it. Like... I, I don't I don't know I, I remember there was like that people loved that uh, villain what was his name Cedric was his name really Cedric yes it oh wait it was Cedric um I I don't know why he, apparently people really liked this villain I don't know why was he hot I, he's I mean he's got a big so bro did you hear the news Fire down below. it's track reviews. No, but did you actually hear the news? Did Jesus sacrifice himself for our sins? Oh, not that. Uh, apparently, simply similar to that. Logan Paul's supposed to make a, like a response video to like this YouTuber named CoffeeZilla. So because he got exposed for running a large crypto scam. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, just when you think that Logan's getting better, it just goes back to this. Yeah. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. Your neck is stupid. Yeah, you're fucking Adam's apple, which is very visible. Bro, I don't think someone. I don't think it someone with like that hair. guy from Skylanders Trap Team. I was about to say that I don't. I don't think someone with that hairstyle should be calling anybody stupid. You know, speaking of Skylanders, this game doesn't it kind of give you Skylanders vibes a little bit? I was about to like the old, uh, like the old Skylanders. You never like the like. I, I don't know. If, I think it was like the. Yeah, I'm thinking like the old Skylanders, the first one. It does give me that some of that vibes of those old graphics, but yet a lot of uh, background detail. Listen, the the best. Listen, the Skylanders game with the best graphics was Superchargers. Yeah. It all went down. I actually liked there. Superchargers. A lot of people didn't like it. I liked it. Well, I remember Superchargers. I can't. I, I remember when I would play it. None of my peep my none of the people I was with knew how to fucking rest how to fucking save the game. So we kept restarting it accidentally. What the fuck is going on? I my my screen is really dark. Okay, can I turn up the brightness because I can't see shit? I actually really like Skylander Superchargers. I just didn't like the driving sections. Yeah, they they felt kind of padded out, especially I because I only ever had that uh one Skylander, the the one car. So uh, and that guy's uh. Well, all you like, need. Like, what I love about Superchargers is that all you need to 100% the game is one Skylander, one fucking, and one of each vehicle, which are there are three. So, 
Because, yeah, like, really you know, you do, for it's... in previous games, for, like, 100% completion, you would have to have, like, one Skyliner of each element and one giant or whatever. And then yeah. Swap Force was fucking bullshit because you had to, you had to have, like, fucking one Skyliner of each element, a fucking giant so you can get the giant chests, and, a f and like, each type of Swap Force figure. Because there were... As if the elements weren't enough, they they added like different types for the swap force figures. It was fucking annoying. I I could I I've never 100%ed. Oh, I can shimmy across the ledge, but I've never 100%ed. Uh, oh, I thought I could jump. <laughs> I never 100%ed swap force. I mean, swap force. Other than that, is a pretty no, good game, but. I think Trap Team was the most cop out of all the games. Yeah. That would suck. Like you need, like, bro, you need that many traps to catch the villains. Yeah. And also, like, uh, what's bullshit about Trap Team is that you no longer needed, like, like a Skyland, any Skylander of that element to open the gate. You needed a Trap Master of that element to open the gate. It was fucking stupid. And what's no. bullshit is that the game fucks with you too because the starter pack comes with uh comes with like what's his name food fight who's life element uh and then there's a, a water gate and you know you get the water trap master and then there's the life gate you think oh i can oh i can open it like in the first level because the first level always corresponds with like the starter packs uh and like so you see a life gate you're like oh i must need food fight uh but no you actually need a trap master it's fucking bullshit I, uh, I had to go back to fucking Walmart and buy fucking that what's his name that fucker with the axe. Yeah, I hate I bruh. What was the one I was gonna say? What was the last guy I just game was Imaginators, right? Yeah, the last game was Imaginators. What am I doing? I think that's when I fell out I with the series. Yeah, the last game was Skylar's Imaginary. Just, I played mainly the Crash Bandicoot level in that. Yeah, I kind of guessed you I would. mainly just played the Crash Bandicoot level over and over again because I was busy, because I was really excited for the Insane Trilogy to come out. I could not contain myself. I needed to play Crash Bandicoot on my PlayStation 4. Yeah. Yeah. Did, they ever give, was there, did they ever give a story reason to why Spyro was there? Or, uh, I think there was like a spin-off comic. I think it's like... um. There was like a spin-off comic, uh, like, it's in the same series as like the Legend of Spyro reboot series, uh, and that's why Cinder is there, and uh, in Superchargers, uh, one character makes a reference to uh, a Malifor Skystone, which is apparently really rare, rare, and Malifor is the villain in the Legend of Spyro series. What did you think of that Skylanders Netflix show? It was fine. It was fine. Yeah. I I yeah, I guess it was something. I don't know, man. I the Crash Bandicoot like a... episode fucking pissed me off, dude. <laughs> Why? Because he fucking talked, and he and the voice acting was fucking terrible. It was bad. <laughs> He also had Dan TDM in an episode, and Dan TDM is not a fucking voice actor. Stop putting him in things. Like he was also in Wreck-It Ralph too, and it was terrible there. Uh, who's Dan TDM again? I feel the like Diamond Minecart, just... the Minecraft Let's Player. Oh, that guy, yeah, Bruh, I remember. It's not the first time they put YouTubers in like a uh, some I show. I remember there was like this show called. Uh, Transformers dev no not devastation the Transformers Combiner Wars and uh they got that uh the fuck? they got wait no what was it it was actually Transformers Titans Return they got Mark Matt Pat to play Tom. oh my god yeah I mean the Computron is uh, like a super intelligent combiner so well, I, like, makes I I, I re remember when they were gonna make a Five Nights at Freddy's movie that was gonna have Markiplier and Matt Pat in it we can't do it. Oh, they were? What happened to that? I have no idea. I have no idea what happened to it. 
I'm not a big. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really well versed into the Five Nights at Freddy's lore, but I think we can all agree that William Dafoe would make a great uh, uh, William Mafton. <laughs> You're so right. Oh God. I hope in the live action remake of Hercules they get a. Uh, I hope that in the live action remake of Hercules they get fucking uh, the guy who plays Saul Goodman to play uh, Hades. He should. Bruh. If, if, if there's one thing I'll give the Disney live action remakes, at least they've tried to make them different from the original. I don't know. Milan tried to be accurate. It f it's fucking sucked because of it. Yeah. Okay, here's my thoughts on the Little Mermaid <laughs> remake. Fucking, I don't give a shit uh, about the race. It just looks like a bad movie. I don't give a shit if yeah. that she's black. It just looks like a bad movie. Like, it's... Yeah, it's, even... Like, the, it's just another Disney remake. It's just another it Disney looks... live-action remake. I think the only reason they made her black was to get people actually talking about it, because people... Like, if you look at, like, the responses to the Pinocchio remake, people are getting really sick of these live-action remakes. Exactly. Also, I want to point something out. Uh, remember, I remember, I think I remember when there was discussion about why they made the fairy black, and someone pointed out that it's a little suspicious how uh, the fa the fairy's role with the fairy would only appeared in one specific scene. That was the beginning, and she yeah, got, and she never true. appeared again. Yeah. So um, it's a little suspicious. It's like they're trying to have. A ways, I, you know? Honestly, I don't think the fairy was even worth talking about in the first place because she's barely in the movie, and yet people made such a big deal about it. I think and, the like, reason for that was because I don't, I don't think it was worth talking about in the first place. Like, yeah, so what? She's true. black. Who cares? Yeah, I think the re I think the reason that people pointed it out is because because it's because well. I find it suspicious how they gave the care they race swapped the character, but then she just didn't have a big role as she did in the original. Like it's kind of weird how like the fairy had a big, like a much bigger role in the original as opposed God, to the how remake. Do I avoid this fucking gun? There's only uh, there's only one way I'll accept a live action Hercules remake. What? That's is if they, that's if if they make it more true to the actual myth and don't make Hades the villain of that story. Yeah. Well, I liked the original Hercules. It's a great movie. Oh, oh, oh I, I liked it. Really, I liked it too. I, I, lo I love, I love that movie. But uh, the thing is, I, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like uh, Hercules. I just feel like Hades being the villain is kind of overdone, especially because he wasn't actually the villain in the actual mythology. Well, I, I don't know. He's a great. He's one. Of, well, Hades is one of my favorite Disney villains, so I'm glad it happened. Yeah, it is, that's true. It's like it's like a it's like a double-edged sword. Like on one hand, I really do want them to keep Hades as a villain because he was such a good villain in the original. On the other hand, it, you know, there's Hades being the villain has been overplayed. Besides, there are plenty of other Greek villains like uh, Thanatos and Hera. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know much about Greek mythology, do you? No, I do not. <laughs> I don't think Hera was a villain in the original movie. You know? Uh, yeah, Hera was not the villain, but in the actual myth, Hera was the villain. Also, do you know it's actually called Her Heracles, not Hercules? Really? Yeah, Heracles is the Roman version. Her Sorry, not Hercules is the Roman version. Heracles is the Greek version. Oh, really? That's interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, have you seen? Have you ever seen that uh, YouTube channel, Unnecessary Censorship? No. Well, you haven't. It's no. called Ninja Panda. You should check it out. Basically, but uh, basically, it's like a channel where uh, they like uh, censor random words and make them sound more dirtier and con dirtier. Oh, that uh, I saw something like that in a in a fucking Three Days Grace music video. Uh, the lyric was like, "Every time we lie awake, after every hit we take." But they censored the word hit. <laughs> so it sounded like he said shit. Oh my god. Every time we shit. After every shit we take. That's what it was. After every shit we take. Uh, romance right there. Change the ah! ticket. I just drawn tron. Right there. 
By the way, uh, me and Zach were talking about is your is your name on Discord a John Tron reference? Eck? Yeah. Fuck. I didn't, I didn't think you'd ever figure that out. <laughs> Ech! I was certain. I was certainly in the thing. What happened? What, why does it sound like he's chewing on nuts? What's going on? I don't know. What the fuck was that noise he just made? <laughs> Let's make up a song right now. Give me a... Oh, sure. Give me, like, a drum beat. Alright. Ahem. <laughs> This is a bad idea. We're definitely gonna win the Emmys. <laughs> Emmys? Are we a TV show? Oh wait, shit. What's what? Wait, I thought the oh, Emmys the was like the. Uh, oh, the Grammys. Yes. Actually, we can win both. Maybe our thing is that good. We're, we're not on TV, though. We're on YouTube. Hey, hey, Fuck. you know, we, 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 we can make a deal with a channel. We put our, uh, we put our game show on a, on a tip. We put this show on a television channel. The, f the first... Horrible Gaming, the YouTube channel with three subscribers, was the first YouTube channel to win an Emmy. <laughs> ah! This um, is so yeah, hard. I, I think we had a conversation like uh, last time where we discussed, uh, like, uh, like what was what the asylum was up to, right? Yeah, and that was an yeah, unused was... recording where we talked about Asylum, the film studio that makes a bunch of knockoffs. Yeah, they've had, they're still going. By the way, people, they, did you know? Like, I don't know if you knew this, everybody. They made, they, made a, they made a rip off film of Don't Look Up. You know that movie that won the Oscars. Yeah. Why are you so obsessed with Don't Look Up? Because the first time I heard of it, it because okay, so because the, okay, the first time I uh, first time I talked, I was I'm not obsessed with it. The first time I talked about it was a joke where I said where there was a meteor crashing down. It was about to hit, and I was like, oh, don't look up reference. And then. Hello? Hello? Guess I'm. Early. What the heck? And then I'd only mentioned it now because, uh. Uh. You know, this joke. What the fuck? The fuck is this room? Is that the bath? Is... Holy crap, that's the, uh. Just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. I beat a oh, level. Ray, you got the badge. Why is he kicking at nothing? This really, Bro. this art style really is like a mix of Tim Burton and Fanboy and Chum Chum. Bruh, I, I like, I, I, yeah, I can't even disagree with that. What was I gonna say? Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, what the fuck is this kid? Some kind of alien? You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? Uh, so how do I go boy. to the, how do I how do I go to the next level? What am I holding? I skipped the cutscene. What am I holding? I don't know. Is that uh, a coin? You know, next time that big eared kid grabs just scream really loud, it's gotta hurt him or something. Anyway, end of the episode. Bye. Bye, goodbye. Wait, we should end it with something funny. End it with a joke. End it with a joke. End it with a joke.
Alright, here's a good joke. Ahem. What do you call a man who doesn't have a wife? Divorced? Call him a vampire. Make sure to subscribe and like to the channel. Share it with your friends in your Facebook group. Come Fuck to our Discord server. I hate all of you. Discord.